brains, bravado, progress and success, and single mom. That's what we're talking about today, everybody, KT, 356. So, yes, these are genes. We're talking about success to start with. Why the genes? Because I haven't been able to fit into these genes in something like 10, 15 years. So, success. Decide you want to do something, you stick with it, you stop bitching and moaning and complaining about how you can't get something done and just do it, guess what happens? You actually get where the hell you're trying to go. So, success. Do not let yourself be the reason you fail. Go kick some ass. So there's actually two reasons. Second reason, brains versus, versus bravado. Right now, outside that wall, it is something like single digit degrees before you count the wind. During the day, while it was sunny, the wind chill brought it down to something like zero degrees. I wore my kilt to a Toastmasters meeting, got home and like, screw this, I have things to do outside. It is cold as hell. So, I changed. Because there's no kilt on this planet that I've ever seen that will keep me completely warm while standing still in zero degree weather with wind. Just, I just have not found that kilt. If you find one out there, somebody maybe knows a Himalayan Sherpa who wears a kilt, fine, I'd love to see what that thing looks like. Otherwise, you know, I've got to put on something that's got a little bit more to it. Um, don't be the stupid one who's out there saying, oh, I'm a badass, I can wear whatever I want, wherever I want, just because I said so. Guess what, it's called frostbite. It's called the hospital. Explaining to the nurse while the twig and berries have frostbite because you're out in the freezing, ridiculously cold weather wearing a kilt and nothing else is stupid. Don't be that person. All right, so talked about all the shenanigans, the bravado, brains, whatever. Now for the fun part, scotch. So I have been bequeathed a bottle that I've never had before. It is called Highland Park 12-year-old Viking Honor. As you can see, it has not been opened. Well, we're going to find out. I've not had this before. A really good friend of mine gave this to me, and I told him that I would review it. So, open that up. Pull off the little thing here. It, eh, it's a cool little logo. Cork. So, cork on the scotch. That's a good sign. If you get a bottle of what somebody says is single malt and has a screw top, you need to go back and talk to them. So it's a very good, a good, good flavor. Or, or, I'm sorry, a good smell. It smells like scotch. I like it. Um, it is bottled, I believe, in Orkney. Yes. Kirkwall, Orkney Islands, Scotland. Distilled and bottled. So, and I honestly, I know I've heard of Highland Park forever. I've never had this particular bottling. And for those of you who can't see, look at the bottle. And I'm going to do my best not to drop this. There's Celtic Viking design. Actually, Viking design all over the bottle. It's very cool. Those of you who like touching things... This bottle is awesome. So, now for the fun part. Uh, I want to thank my good friends at Rub Right and Hardigan for the Glen Cairn. Uh, if you have not seen them, they're, they are at Scott Fest down in Tulsa, Oklahoma, or thereabouts. Uh, September-ish every year. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, looks good cork this bottle so I don't spill it, because God knows with my luck, I would. So, it's got a really nice color to it. It's I like golden, a little a little lighter than most of the single malts I like. I really prefer the Islas. It's definitely not one I've had before. It's got that, that very strong, very almost like a Highland. It 
It's not bad. It's definitely, it doesn't have the oaky peatiness of, say, a, a Lafroy. Uh, it's more like a McCallany, in my opinion. Um, but the taste likes to linger and it just sits in the back of your throat. Um, very tasty. I could drink this. This is good. This is very good scotch. Now, those of you who have, don't know, I am definitely by no means a professional scotch taster. So I'm not going to tell you about the vanilla notes or the cask or any of that other crap. I'm going to say it tastes good. Um, I would suggest buying this and drinking this. Um, so for those of you who don't know, this is Highland Park 12, uh, Viking Honor. Very good scotch. Uh, not quite open, but close. As far as the, the caliber of a single malt. I like this. This is this is not bad. So, Highland Park, 12-year-old single malt. Viking Honor. Bottling. I would suggest it. I would recommend this if you like single malts. Um... I don't know what it costs. It says it was a gift, but I would suggest it if it's something you have not had before. Um, like I said, it does not have the oak peat of, say, um, Lagavulin or Lafroy Talisker. It doesn't have that oaky peatiness to it. It's more of um, well, it's an Orkney, so it does have this it, it, a very specific flavor, but it's more of a Highlandish kind of single malt versus the Islas. Um, it's good. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. So, with that, scotch. Good stuff. Problems, things you got to deal with. Guess what? Stick to it. You're going to kick their ass, kick its ass. Because if it kicks your ass, that means you got to try harder and you got to find somebody else to help keep you on the straight and narrow. Just get out there kick some ass, do the awesome things, and don't be the stupid moron who's got to show off and say, ooh, hey, look at me, the guy in the kilt, it's, it's negative 38 degrees, and I'm just going to do things. It's just cold. Don't be stupid. You know, you know, where you, you know what your limits are. Stick with them. If you're just going out there to, be, to look like a badass and, and get some cool pictures, fine, then go put some warm clothes on. You don't need to get sick because it's just too damn cold outside. So with that, let's see uh, see what Kiltology has. I'm going to go for volume two. It's on Amazon. Go buy a copy. So this is one I've never read before, at least not here. I actually, and it, it does have a little bit of bearing because I found an old watch that I've, I had some years ago. It was in good shape. Everything looked really nice. The battery had just died, so I'm going to go get it fixed. Kiltology number 288, watches. For the kilt on the prowl out there, active or otherwise, that meaning unattached to a significant other, always keep a timepiece in your sporing, not on your wrist. Lasses looking for time, for the time, will be forced to wait while you get your pocket watch or other timepiece out of your sporing, which in itself has some not-so-subtle suggestions about it. It also gives her and you time to come up with other things to talk about. Yes, the power of the kilt does compel you. So, what does that mean? That means that if somebody wants something, have it in your spore and don't have it like readily available, especially if you want them to sit and talk to you because it forces them to wait for you. It First of all, it gives you, puts you in control of the conversation, but digging things out of your spore and brings up all kinds of different conversations. So you guys let that simmer. I know, uh, I believe tomorrow's Friday. Shenanigans abound. So get ready for some fun and games. New Year's Eve's coming up. There should be some plenty of fun for that. And, uh, again, Island Park 12, the Viking Honor bottling. It's pretty nice. You guys go out there, have fun. I will see you tomorrow. Be strong. Good kill, Tom.